The photographs show that they're training the Azov Battalion because those were the first units Ukrainian military brought forward for training. We trained Nazis. What happened is the United States and European Union mobilized this virulent nationalist group out of Lvov in Western Ukraine, among whom were these neo-Nazis who worshiped Stepan Bandera and the, Band, uh, the Banderista movement, uh, which was a pro-Nazi Ukrainian national movement carried out a resistance in that area for decades. Um, these guys came in and took over Maidan, violently overthrew the, the, the legitimate president of Ukraine, and then imposed themselves through force of violence into the Ukrainian body politic. To give you an example of how powerful they are, Zelensky was told he was elected to be the president who brought peace. If you remember, Zelensky toured the front line because they were supposed to disarm. And he went up to the Azov battalion and he said, disarm. And they laughed at him, kicked him out. He said, I'm the president of Ukraine. They said, shut up, we'll slap you. He had to leave. And he was told, if you sign Minsk, we will hang you by the neck until dead. That's the control these people have. And they've done it in the military. They, you know, these people should have been disbanded, arrested, shot. Instead, the military absorbed them and then promoted their officers throughout the ranks so that there's neo-Nazis everywhere. And the biggest embarrassment of all is when British, American, and Canadian troops go to Ukraine to train that military and NATO tactics, NATO equipment. The photographs show that they're training the Azov Battalion because those were the first units Ukrainian military brought forward for training. We trained Nazis. <laughs>